Hey guys, real quick video here. Um, just want to show a concept where it looks like I'm losing, but really I'm not. And it's about surviving the opening where like I have the black pieces and I play this aggressive move C5, even though there's a lot of tension on D4. And Basically, I'm just grabbing pawns, and I have an isolated pawn, and I'm kind of trying to defend it, but really, it's just a diversion. And like here, when he plays this move, he's putting a lot of pressure on... Both my knights are pinned, and then this knight is attacking the center, and my king is telegraphing that he's castling left king side because my queen side has been blown up. Now, if he plays bishop takes knight, and I play pawn takes, I can't castle that way without having a stupid structure. Where And if I take with the queen, then he has knight takes the pawn. Also, the threat is, the principal threat is knight takes knight, and if my pawn takes, queen takes with a check, and potentially losing a rook as well. Um, so I have to unpin these knights and get castled. So I, I choose to unpin this knight instead of that knight because I'm just going to give him not only this knight and the pawn that recaptures, and then consequentially this pawn, I think, as well. I'm losing all of that, but my... My idea is I'm gonna I've grabbed enough pawns in the opening to where if I can get castled and I'm not completely dead, um, I'm gonna get him before he can castle. So here he attacks. He thinks he's winning here, so he he grabs the knight and it's attacking my queen and my bishop, and I basically have to take back. Then he takes. Well, okay, he could take with check here. Um, the defense I have to taking with check is bishop attacks the queen, defends my king, which also opens up the defense of my rook. So the queen will protect the rook. So if he checks here, he will have to retreat with the queen. And then he's thinking he won't be able to win this pawn because the knight defends it and the queen defends it. So he decides to remove the knight first. Um, he's just trying to get rid of all my pieces and he thinks he has a strong enough attack because here he's undermining the defense of this pawn. The knight no longer can defend it because it's dead. The pawn can no longer defend it because it's dead. And when I play this move, now my queen can no longer defend it because, um, the bishop blocks my queen. So... He takes it. Now his queen is under attack, so he can't take with the knight. So he takes with the queen. And in this position, it looks like I just got blown out of the water as black in the opening, but castles. And I'm down two pawns. And this is the lesson I want to teach. I'm dominating. He thinks he's winning, probably, but he's getting his ass kicked. Because I have two bishops, he only has one. So I have a, what's called a bishop pair, and I can go on every color square, and he can only go on the light squares. Um, this knight is under fire. At any moment, I can take it, which will um, damage his structure. And also, his king is not castled yet. Mine is. His queen's out in the middle. Um, I can attack it. Um, so in this position... It's his turn, and he, if he castles this way, it's dangerous because my bishop is aiming that way, and his king will be right here. My rook could come and attack him. So he, he plays this move, trying to get his bishop out and castle in that direction. Now, it's too slow because I play here. Um, computer says best move is queen to b6, attacking this pawn probably forcing him to defend it and then he can't castle that way um 
Also, if he did, if I did play out to here and he tried to defend it with the rook, I could play check, taking the knight, and he can't recapture because I would take the rook. So that's why computer likes this move. However, I play this move, which is also good because it comes with the threat. My threat is if you develop your bishop lazily, I will take the knight. And then when you take it back, I will take the knight again with check and win the rook and the game. Um, so this move, he has to do something about. So he chooses to bring his queen back to defend both this pawn and this knight and kind of say, haha, I got two pawns and I'm, I'm back in time to defend. But he's not because the queen is still on an open file. My rooks are connected. I don't have to worry about king safety. So rook d1 and or d8. And now he is at the mercy of a bishop move. Any bishop move I make, his queen will be hit. And also whatever my bishop is hitting will be hit. And that's really hard to calculate and defend against. So here he plays get out of the pin, queen to here. But that's, if I can get my rook, his queen's already in the game. He has two pieces in the game, basically. Maybe a third, maybe a fourth. When I play rook to here, my rook goes from doing nothing to attacking and controlling this entire open file. And then he sidesteps it. And now it's my turn again. He still hasn't had time to bring his bishop out and castle, which is what he needs to do to be able to utilize his pawn advantage. But right now, the pawns are meaningless. If anything, I'm glad they're gone because I have one long range piece, two long range piece, three, four, five. I have all five of my snipers and, and the pawns only get in their way. So anyway, so here I play uh, rook to b8 with a trap and my idea here, here is he's defending this knight so if i take he can take with the pawn and i can't take because queen takes and if i take he takes with the queen and i trade queens um he has more pawns than me and it's not good enough um but if i add one more layer of attack he can't handle it so rook b8 the threat of rook b8 is I think he's going to try to get his bishop out and castle. And I'm going to sacrifice the rook on b2 because it undermines the defense of this knight. And if the queen takes it, if I play rook takes, so in the game he plays bishop to here, which has a threat of check here, which is a bummer, but I'm still glad he moved his bishop instead of... Uh, defending this pawn because now rook takes and he throws in this check and then I keep the king close to the bishop so now the, the queen has limited options um, of where to go. It goes here. But the idea is even without the check if he were to just take my rook I would play bishop takes knight check which wins the queen because if queen takes bishop Queen takes queen with a check and the rook and the bishop. So he throws in this check, then he goes here, because if he takes the rook again, he loses his queen and the bishop, probably. So, okay, so then when he moves, when he's moving his queen, he's trying to stay on this diagonal. He can't go here, can't go, because my pawn controls it, can't go here, because my bishop controls it. So he goes here. He can't really go here because my rook indirectly controls that and I could play like a bishop move which would uh, attack it. So he goes here um, which is just offering the knight and I could take with the bishop or the queen. Um, his only attacking threat here is queen to h4 with um, the idea of a bishop move which would be a check and maybe winning one of my pieces or something. Um, that's his only chance. And my bishop is covering that square. So I choose to take with the queen um, instead and leave my bishop defending that. And also the queen here. Um, the king has to move again. If the king, if the king goes this way, a bishop move would win the queen with check. So he goes this way. And now I could play queen d 
um, two with the threat of checkmate, which is always good. Uh, the problem I saw in the game when I was calculating queen d2 is what if he plays queen f3 and then defends checkmate. And then I wasn't sure what to do. Um, turns out there's a bunch of shit I can do. But instead I saw this move. I'm attacking the rook with the bishop and the queen, but my own rook is in the way. So I saw this move, which is, um, okay, well, first I saw that there's a check. I, I could have, this is an opportunity to check, and then there's no blocking it because the rook and the queen and the bishop all control the square. So if queen blocks it, I just take with the bishop. So he has to move again. Now his rook is completely trapped. His king is going to get back rank mated in a lot of variations. And I have this move. Again, I could still play queen here and try to checkmate. And I was calculating that, but then I was like, what about just rook here? Because now my attack is opened up on the rook, and I'm taking this pawn, and he can't take back because the king has been pushed so far in the corner that if rook takes rook here, I would play queen uh, checkmate. Queen c1 checkmate because that's a direct attack on the king and there's no way to block it because the rook is off the back rank. So this is a free pawn here with an attack. And then he goes here and this made me think I could play pawn up here to defend it and just say my position's better and beat him slowly. Also, it's not really a threat because if I do nothing and he takes the bishop, I still have checkmate. Um, but also he's walking into a bishop attack, which would attack the queen and the rook at the same time. And I was calculating that, is that good enough? Because if bishop here, he can play queen takes. And then if I play queen takes, he would have bishop takes queen, I would lose my queen. And if I play bishop here and he plays queen takes and I play rook takes, then I have to calculate what if he plays rook down here and that's checkmate. The thing is it's not because of his bishop here. If he ever gets his rook down here to check me, I can just take the bishop. And if the bishop's gone, as long as I kill it and remove its defense of the square, my king can escape up. Also my rook, if it's not dead, can come back and block the checkmate with the defense of the bishop. So I decide to go for it. He doesn't want to do that. So he goes here. And um, in this position, the rook cannot defend the queen. So I just take the queen and he resigns. Because if he takes, it's check. Maybe he resigned here. So I take the queen, he takes back, then I check and it's checkmate because there's a, there's no move to stop the king from dying except rook back, which is attacked by the bishop and the rook. And the point of this game, guys, is this rook never got to play. Um, he's missing an entire piece. So losing two pawns like this in the opening, if I can get castled and he can't, that's worth like a rook. So really I'm up a piece instead of down two pawns. And this kill shot here, there's nothing good he can do. The, it, like if the queen, there's nothing he can do. Like if the queen goes back, I just have check. And now he officially can't castle and I won a piece and it's minus 10. Um, I could even take with the queen. Check. And I would probably play that. But as you can see, the game, the game's, they're saying best move is giving up the bishop. What if bishop back? Yeah, because it, it's an attack on the bishop and the rook at the same time. So anyway, um, yeah, and just to, just to clarify, the computer knows in this position, 
it's less than a pawn advantage, even though he's winning two pawns. And when he wins both pawns and I castle, it's I'm winning by a pawn, even though I'm down two pawns. That's because the computer understands evaluations that the bishop pair are just too strong and the rook open files are too strong. His bishop, he wishes his pawn was dead. It's not. His bishop takes too long to get out and he gets, he takes too long. His queen is constantly under attack, his knight is constantly under attack, and, and there's nothing he can do. And um, he has one opportunity here to attack my queen, but he misses it. And then here, even here, it, it recommends bishop sacrifice, and if queen takes, then I have the check, 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 check. But I played this because I knew he wasn't going to see this. And then it's just the best move in this position. Best move. Sacrifice the rook. If he takes, check. And there's nothing he can do. So, yeah. Anyway. That's the game. And if we look at my, uh, I said I would update you. If we look at my profile, I got the 1700 bullet, 1800 blitz, 1900 rapid, 2000 classical, and my blitz and rapid I'm playing around with and, and trying to get up. Bullet I don't enjoy very much. I kind of hate it. And then classical... It's like so intense that I don't want to lose my 2000, but I think I might be able to hit 2000 in rapid because um, I've won. Um, I don't know. I've run. I've won a lot of my recent games. But anyway, thank you. Hope you understand.